Hello, and welcome back to The Lost Files of Sherlock Holmes, The Case of the Serrated Scalpel. We are going to... let's load our save game. So, here we are. Back where it all started from. Well, no, not really. Let's go this way. Fasta Holmes! And Watson just stands there. So we've already gone there, we've already gone here. And one thing I always forget is that... Let's see, we yeah. have... Which, this always sort of bugs me because... It's not very intuitive. We have some more places opened up. Every time when you investigate or you find new facts, new things are opened up. Yes, kitty cats. So, um, we want to go over here to Belle's Perfumery. Yes, kitty, I don't need you to do that. Good day, gentlemen. My name is Belle. If you require any assistance, please do not hesitate to ask. Very vivid green eyes. Let's talk to her. I'm looking for a young man who recently purchased... Well, purchased some perfume from you recently. Edward Sen. Ah, it's a very popular scent of the quality of perfume. Qu the quality perfumes it has the most modest price. What does the young man look like? Well, he wears. Kitty, stop that! He has copiously amounts of Madagascar oil in his hair. Yes. Is he tall or short? He is tall. He is very tall. Taller than myself. Is he thin or stout? He is thin as a rail. Because he is a rugby player. Ah, okay, apparently I did something wrong. Do, 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 do. Let's try this again. Da, 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 da. Copy some amounts of Madagascar oil. Very tall. Is he thin or stout? Fairly obese. Ah, kitty, kitty, stop it. Okay, let's... Let's try this again. What am I doing wrong? He wears heavy wool sweaters. Okay, obviously I don't think I have found something that I'm supposed to have found yet. Give me just one moment. Okay, seems I have uh, missed a step. I don't think I've missed a step, but I missed something. Ah, I think I'm supposed to go back to the alleyway. Scotland Yard has been uncharacteristically efficient homes. I believe they've already moved the body to the morgue. Well, let's see. Do we have anything that might get us into the back room? Let's use brass key. 
see if that works. No, apparently we can't do that. The music is being funky. Okay, we should have the morgue on here now. If we do not, I shall be irate. Ah, uh, there we go. I usually do this as a different way, but for some reason it is not agreeing with me. Never had a problem, um, identifying the guy before. But for some reason I am this time, so we'll go about this a different way. Good day, Mr. Holmes, Dr. Watson. You'd like to look at the body, I expect. I'll be with you in a moment. Please look around if you wish. So we are going to do just that. Dead body number two. The shallow but lethal incisions across this female's victim's throat appear to have been made with a surgeon's scalpel. Let's look at this one. This unfortunate woman bled to death from a deep stab wound inflicted to her upper throat and upper chest. The fatal blade may resemble the one wielded by Jack the Ripper. Let's see any more dead bodies. Anything else we can look at? Uh, let's talk to the coroner. Well, let's, let's ask this one. Virus database has been updated. Thank you, Avast. Not really, Mr. Holmes. I discovered trace quantities of a curious powdery substance. We already figured that out. Doesn't look like my laboratory assistant won't be until tomorrow. We've already have a sample of it, Holmes. Ah, yes, this looks just like the specimen I removed from the body at the murder scene. My analysis showed it to be some sort of arsenic compound mixed with soap. It's a peculiar combination. I can tell you arsenic has nothing to do with the cause of death. Thank you, Doctor. Now let, let's, let's talk to the inspector. Inspector Greason. Oh, it's you, Holmes. No, it's somebody else. Hello, Inspector. How are you? Yes, Holmes, what can I do for you? I guess there's not really much we can talk to him about. Okay. Even concealed by a sheet, Sarah's body is in shambles. Ah, uh, there doesn't seem to be much more we can do here. I'm trying to remember. Da, 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 da. Oh, yes, we have to talk to him again. Hello, Inspector. Ah. We're supposed to be able to... Yes, the body's arrived. Ah, uh, here we go. May I see the personal ins uh, items that Inspector Lesage sent in with the body? That's not standard procedure, Mr. Holmes, but I suppose there's no harm in showing them to you. Wait a moment, won't you? I'll retrieve them from my evidence cabinet. And off he goes. So I'm a bit discombobulated because I tend to do this in a completely different order. So I'm a bit... La la la. I'm a bit out of sorts from how it is. 
There's a large key, facial powder, and a charm bracelet, a delicate chain which is attached to a semi-precious violet stone. It appears to be Amethyst and perhaps indicate the victim was born between January 20th and February 18th. So we've got some powder. And then we've got the key. Iron gates are sturdy at external doors. Well, we can try picking it up, but we'll get yelled at. I'm sorry, Mr. Holmes, I can't allow you to take anything without proper... I can order a few tests on the items while I have them here, but you're welcome to view them whenever you like. What we need to do is get a hold of those items. Oh, it's you, Holmes. Inspector, could you authorize release of some items? From the Sarah Carraway case. Who's the Inspector Lestrade? Ah, you mean the new Ripper case. Lestrade always gets the glamorous assignment, and I get what falls off his plate. I'm here on a simple suicide. Three witnesses saw the woman leap off London Bridge a week, a week ago. Clearly a suicide. I'm just trying to tie up loose ends. Excuse me, Inspector, considering those caraway items. Oh, yes, sorry. I'm afraid I won't be able to help you, Mr. Holmes. Only the Strad can release that evidence. I left him an hour ago at the yard. You still might find him there, but I warn you, though, that security procedures have tightened up some. Tell them I sent you, and you should have no trouble. Yes, I don't want to look at the archway. I want to leave. <sighs> so now let's go over to the yard. Well, let's talk to the uh, apparently blind vendor. Hello, Augie, in the pink and so. Indeed, Mr. Holmes, lovely spot of old and white of our having. I like he's the apparently blind. Uh... Let's talk to the constable. Good day, Constable. I must speak with Inspector Lestrade. Sorry, sir, with all the recent troubles we've had to restrict access to the building. Authorized personnel only, I'm afraid. But this is Mr. Sherlock Holmes, the favorite consulting detective. That's nothing to me, sir. No exceptions. Please move on. Ah, yes. Inspector Grayson informed us of recently changes in security procedure. But I assure you, Constable, he has given us permission to enter. That may be, sir, but I take my orders from Chief Inspector Palmer himself, and they are that no one is to pass there without proper authorization. You understand, sir. Well, we gotta talk to this guy. Hello, Augie. My compliments to you. Very kind, Mr. Holmes. Nice to hear from you and Dr. Watson again. Is there perhaps something I can help you with? I need to speak with Inspector Lestrade, and the constable won't allow me access to the building. Ah, you're Strickler's regulation, the yard boys are, Mr. Holmes. Sorry, can't help you with that one. Well, actually, you, you can. Let's see if I can find... Ah, what am I doing wrong? Uh... 